This is Yuzuru Hanyu, the number one most popular figure skater on the planet doing his step sequence in the short program of Japan Nationals 2021. He scored 5.79 for this element. Textbook. This is Nathan Chen, the reigning world and U.S. national champion, doing his step sequence in the short program of U.S. Nationals 2021. He scored 5.85. Judging by the scores, Nathan wins. And we could see some fans outraged at the unfair and biased judgment. But here is why you should never compare these two scores. You see, figure skating scoring is complicated. You have a panel of nine judges giving a GOE score ranging from plus five to minus five to each element performed. In Hanyu's case, he's got plus five GOE from seven judges and plus four GOE from two judges. The highest and lowest points are dropped and the remaining points are averaged. Hence he scored plus 4.857 GOE from the judges. That would mean 48.57% of the base value of the level 4 step sequence, 3.9, which is 1.89 was added to his technical score, where the 5.79 is made up of. In Nathan's case, there were only 7 judges in the US Nationals 2021 panel. So all 7 scores were counted and averaged. And he's got plus 5 GOE from all judges, which means 50% of 3.9, which is 1.95 was added to his technical score to make up 5.85. According to the ISU guidebook, in order to get plus 5 GOE, you need to fulfill at least 5 out of the 6 bullets for the step sequence. We have 6 of positive bullets of the step sequence, and the first bullet, deep edges, clean steps and turns. Second bullet, element match with the music. Third bullet, effort rate throughout, with good energy, flow, and execution. Bullet number four is creativity and originality. Number five is excellent commitment and control of the whole body. And the last bullet is good acceleration and deceleration. So, all it takes is for two judges in the Japanese judging team who thought that Hanyu didn't fulfill two bullets to score him plus four GOE instead of plus five for him to lose to Nathan. Bear in mind that these two judges who gave Hanyu plus 4 GOE are not the same judges who scored Nathan. And you know what that reminds me of? Online review. Back in the day, we didn't have much way of knowing if a restaurant, hotel, or decorative singing fish was any good. Now a good jumping off point is probably the overall rating of a product or service. So how many uh, stars, dots, or eggs it has out of five. Places like Amazon, Google Maps, and TripAdvisor have literally millions of reviews for just about anything you can think of. But exactly how much trust can you put in these reviews? You see, one of us is doing Airbnb and she has two duplicated listings of the exact same apartment on Airbnb. One listing scored a perfect 5 rating from 10 reviewers. Another listing scored only 4.91 from 11 reviewers. Needless to say, these scores come from totally different guests. But does that mean one listing is better than the other? They are exactly the same. But only because the scores are different, you might be tricked to think the listing with perfect 5 is better. And now you see the problem. Remember, the reviews were written by different users. They might have the best intention, but some might be more critical and some more lenient. Just like the two judges who gave plus 4 GOE to Hanyu for his step sequence. They might really think he didn't look effortless enough, or he didn't commit enough to the moves, etc. Or they could be just thinking, nah I'm not going to give him perfect scores in order to motivate him to work harder, not knowing that 4 might have caused him the gold. Just like some of you who might give a 4 to the Airbnb you booked, thinking I would only give 5 stars if it were over the top nice luxurious hotel or Uber, Amazon, and basically any rating system online, not knowing that 4 is putting the listing at risk under the online rating system. Myth was based in some reality for a long time. Guilty anyone? Which is why in the international championship, there is a need to ensure the same panel of nine judges from different countries are appointed for the same competition. So, you can't really compare the points from different competitions or the national championships when the judges are different. But still, there will always be bias. Especially when they are judging the skaters from home or when they have their favorites. And this is just the inherent part of human nature, being subjective. There's some bias there. I think absolutely you will see the judges from the same country giving slightly higher marks. The nationalistic bias was particularly pronounced among judges from Ukraine, Russia, South Korea, and even the US. Did you hear that? Japan Skating Federation?
The main rivals of your skaters, US and Russia, they are all biased for their own skaters. You don't need to over-criticize your own skaters and lowball them in the national championships. This is the time to be lenient and encouraging and build up the confidence of your skaters, not to negatively reinforce their mistakes and tell them that they are not good enough. Well, in case you don't understand what we say in English, here is one of us speaking in Japanese to you. 聞きました日本スケート連盟の皆さんあなた方のスケーターの主なライバルであるアメリカとロシアはみんな自国のスケーターにとても甘いです。日本選手権では自分のスケート選手を過剰に批判して低評価にする必要はありません。今こそ寛大になってミスを強調したり足りないと言ったりせず彼らを励まし選手の自信をつける時です。Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! 日本も含めてアジアでは親が子供に対してまあ何をしても十分じゃないようなまあ You're not good enough っていうようなまあ考え方でその子供に接する親とかもいたりすると思うんですけどああめっちゃ言われますね<笑>それについてはどう思いますか子供的に見るとめちゃめちゃ嫌で悪いことですねその親ってもうまあ、育ててくれてる存在なので絶対的なその信頼を子供は置いてる中でその,その人に一番信頼してる人に十分でないって言われたらなんか本当にそうなのかって思って自信をなくしちゃうような気がしますね。Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off. What are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Uh huh. Snoop Dogg! So, what you thought is helping the skaters might harm their confidence. Just give them as many points as you can. They deserve that. So, 0コンマ何点の世界で戦っているところもあるので1点は大きいですよね割と大きいんですね、はい、It's another side effect for constantly over criticizing the skaters It gives people and judges from other countries the impression that your skaters are only worth that much I can't help but remember world's figure skating 2016 Ladies free skate Satoko Miyahara had a clean skate and she scored 139.89 in line with her free skate scores in Japan Nationals 2015 three months earlier When she won the championship there, she scored 139.59. But in World's Championship, this score was only enough to put her third in the free skate and fifth overall. Now take a look at the second place finisher of the free skate, Ashley Wegner from the US. She scored 142.23 despite having three mistakes in her programs, including two under rotations and an edge call for her LUTs. That result was also in line with her free skate scores in US Nationals 2015. Where she scored 148.98 for a relatively clean skate, she did. You see, GOE are given in real time by judges, and they have only about two minutes for PCS scoring. How do they know what scores to give? It's all based on the impressions of that skate and their data from the past competitions, which they can remember. Back to the Airbnb story just now. She actually had experienced guests giving her one star earlier for one of her listings simply because the guests were unhappy that they were not allowed to drink the wine stored in her cabinet. That caused her listing to drop to three stars and at risk of getting removed. She tried hard to win five stars from the next guest to the extent of offering free wines to them. But the next few guests all gave her roughly three or four stars no matter how she tried. When she asked them why, they always came up with some reasons like there is dust, the house is not clean enough, etc. But let's be honest, most guests rely also on the past data to give the reviews. They saw the three stars rating and thought there must be something wrong about this apartment. So they gave such a rating, in line with the rating in the listing. I'm guilty for that myself because there was once I booked an Airbnb with a 5 stars rating in Cusco, Peru, near Machu Picchu. When I went inside, the kitchen had a bad smell. But when I opened the windows of the house and saw the views, everything that came to my mind was. Ah, no wonder they've gotten 5 stars in Airbnb. And I gave them 5 stars rating later on as well. That's how much your decision can be influenced by the mass. And there is a psychological term for that, called the groupthink. 
Groupthink happens when a group of people choose to go for conformity and cohesiveness, and that may produce a tendency among its members to agree at all costs to minimize conflict and reach a consensus decision without critical evaluation. A solution? The Tenth Man Rule. In the 30s, Jews refused to believe they could be sent to concentration camps. In 72, we refused to fathom we'd be massacred in the Olympics. The problem with most people is that they don't believe something can happen until it already has. It's not stupidity or weakness, it's just human nature. So we decided to make a change. Nine of us look at the same information and arrive at the exact same conclusion. It's the duty of the tenth man to disagree. The tenth man has to start digging with the assumption that the other nine are wrong. So back to the Airbnb story. She finally decided to create another listing and start all over. And that listing is now standing a high 4.88 out of 17 reviewers, without the influence of the three stars rating over there. She could do that in the online world. But can the skaters start all over and put their past data behind them? Well, maybe in their next life when they are reborn in another country like the US or Russia. Something to think about. Of course, all of our calls here are based on the assumption that no one mean the rig the system. And that would be a different story. All right, that's it for our story today. We are simply trying to offer another perspective on how to watch figure skating. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more interesting stories to come. Thank you.